Hello AP students, this is Mrs. Politsky, and I have notes for Chapter 12, Psychological Disorders, and we're going to focus right now on mood disorders. So what is a mood disorder? Well, it's any abnormal disturbance in emotion or mood indicating bipolar disorder or unipolar disorder. Uh, mood disorders are sometimes known as affective disorders, but really most of you probably would refer to mood disorders as things like depression. So when moods careen out of control, soaring extreme elation, that's like really, really happy, or plunging to deep depression, the diagnosis is probably one of a mood disorder. An individual's moods are consistently inappropriate to the situation. Uh, and that is, that is kind of the basis for the diagnosis for the mood disorder. So some examples, uh, major depression is a form of um, a mood disorder in which an individual does not have an alternate um, polar disorder where they're going from extremes. Uh, an individual who has major depression typically will remain depressed um, for weeks on end, uh, perhaps even months. And a lot of times this is after some kind of event, so like maybe the death of a loved one or so. Uh, then they have had a clinically significant condition known as major depression or major depressive disorder. Uh, incidences of this, there was a man named uh, Martin Siegelman, and he referred to basically depression as the common cold of psychological disorders. And he believed that everyone has suffered uh, either major depression or a milder form that uh, clinicians called dysthymia. Uh, in the United States, depression accounts for the majority of all mental hospital admissions and is believed to be very much underdiagnosed and underestimated. As far as the cost, uh, here in the United States, it's about $43 million, billion dollars a year. And that's everything from hospitalization to therapy uh, to lost productivity at work. Uh, depressed people typically feel worthless. They may have a lack of appetite, withdrawal from family and friends. Uh, they may have difficulty sleeping. They may have a hard time retaining their job. Uh, they may become ag agitated or lethargic. Uh, but probably the most serious of all the conditions that, uh, as, as far as symptoms are concerned, is suicide uh, when an individual is feeling suicidal. As far as individuals with depression, the statistics are about 1 in 50 uh, depression sufferers uh, will attempt or commit suicide. Cross-cultural studies indicate that depression is the single most prevalent form of disability around the world. As far as causes, uh, some of the major causes might involve a genetic predisposition. Uh, the biological basis for depression comes from a favorable response that many depressed patients have to drugs that affect the brain's neurotransmitters, such as norepinephrine, serotonin, and dopamine. Depression is related to lower brainwave activities in the left frontal lobe, and depression may be caused by a form of viral infection. Some individuals uh, who have depression, it may be because of some other factors, and there is uh, evidence for something known as seasonal affective disorder, uh, AKA SAD. Uh, technically, this is because of deprivation of the sunlight and it occurs over the long dark months of winter, particularly among individuals who live in high latitude regions and that might include here in the United States in the upper Midwest areas like Minnesota or the Dakotas. Uh, this is related to a light sensitive hormone known as melatonin, which regulates our internal biological clocks. Probably because of low self-esteem, depression prone people are more likely uh, to perpetuate the depression cycle by attributing their negative events to their personal flaws or extreme conditions that they feel helpless to change. Martin Siegelman calls this learned helplessness and the resulting negative self-evaluation generates a depressed mode, which leads in turn to negative behaviors such as crying. Stress hormones adversely affect, um, affect neurons, uh, particularly in the hippocampus which is a part of the brain, which is 
um, kind of known for uh, an action site for antidepressant drugs. The cognitive approach to depression points out that negative thinking styles are learned and modifiable. And this implies that if you can change the way that you think, not blaming yourself, perhaps, uh, that you can ultimately change uh, your feelings and performance. Who becomes depressed? Well, typically women more than men. And according to Susan Nolan Hoxima, uh, the difference may lie in differing responses of men and women uh, who are experiencing negative moods. When women experience sadness, uh, she says that they tend to think uh, about the possible causes and implications of their feelings. When men feel depressed, they attempt to distract themselves and they shift their, their thoughts and attention to something else or engage in some kind of physical activity that takes their mind off their mood. Uh, women have a tendency to concentrate on problems and thus this increases their vulnerability to depression. Depression is 10 to 20 times more common uh, as it was maybe 50 years ago. Uh, depression is more often a teenage problem and, and more prevalent in females than males. Going back to Martin Siegelman, he blames the increase of depression in the occurrence and the decrease in age to these factors, such as out of control individualism, along with um, self-centeredness that focuses on individual success and failure, rather than group accomplishments. Thank you very much.